What's up everybody, welcome to another video here at Leave the Bubble where we talk about expanding our comfort zones, dealing with changes and embracing challenges in life. My name is Phil and today I'm going to tell you my language learning secrets. Why should you care? Well, because I strongly believe that expanding our comfort zones and leaving our little bubbles is a fantastic way to grow personally. And one of the best ways to do that is through travel and meeting new people. And learning a new language hugely facilitates both of these things. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. First of all, let's get some of the generals out of the way first. I believe there are absolutely no downsides when it comes to learning a new language. After all, like I just said, speaking more than one language, more than your mother tongue, makes it so much easier to meet new people. And when you speak their language, it also creates a much deeper connection between you and them. And this became super apparent during my time in Rome. Now, I lived in Rome from 2013 to 2016. And while walking through this gorgeous city, it was very common to see a lot of tourists speaking in their native tongue, which of course was not Italian. And naturally, it happened quite often that they would stop me to ask for directions. And they would always ask in English, of course. But when I was walking past them, and I would hear what they were speaking before and I spoke the language, for example, Spanish, Portuguese, German, and I would answer in their native tongue, you could see how immediately their eyes would open up, they would have a huge smile on their face and it would stop being a official Q&A to a more personal conversation. And that's something that's incredibly valuable when you speak an additional language. And when you speak an additional language, it's not just about the deeper connections that you can have with them, but at the same time, you're embracing a part of their culture as well. After all, every language has a certain sound, a certain flair, a certain lifestyle attached to it that enriches and influences you personally. So how should you approach the language learning process? Well, in my mind, and this is my personal opinion and very thoroughly proven vetted system that I have used to learn five languages fluently and a sixth on a conversational level is something that does not seem quite natural at first. Put the grammar books away. Now, don't get me wrong, grammar books are fantastic to take you to the next level once you already have an advanced product that you're trying to polish off. However, don't start from the get-go glued to a book because it's just, there's so much more than grammar at the beginning. I strongly believe that one of the best ways to learn a language is to internalize it to listen to it very carefully, observe certain hand gestures people use, listen to the nuances of certain words, listen to phrases people use very commonly. These are all minor details that make a huge, huge difference. Now this goes without saying, but you have to lose the fear of making mistakes while speaking because learning a language is so much more than just speaking correctly. It's about hand gestures. Think of expressive languages like Italian. Oh, ma perché sempre italiani? It's about underlying attitudes. Think of the chiller attitude of Brazilian people. Relax, cara, tudo bem. <laughs> and of course, it also goes to intonations. Think of Latin American Spanish and Spanish Spanish, or American English and Australian English. So think about these things. A language is so much more than just sounds. So how do we internalize all these little details? Well, by far the best way uh, in my mind, is to travel to the place and surround yourself by locals. Because when you're there, you hear it constantly, you speak it, you learn the local dialect, you learn colloquial phrases. It's just perfect. It, it, by far, it is the best way. But what if that's not possible? Well, then you simulate it. Listen to people, watch them closely. For example, if you're learning Spanish, but you can't go to Spain or to Latin America, watch Elite or whatever. There are so many Netflix series that are very entertaining as well, where you can listen and watch these people carefully. Listen to music, listen to podcasts, watch YouTubers. It doesn't matter, but you have to simulate an environment where you can observe, where you can listen to, and then, and this is the most important part, where you can speak as well. So whenever you get the chance, practice as much as possible. Guys, honestly, practice whenever you can. A language is a thing that you need to keep alive. And when you don't have people that you can talk to on a regular basis, grab one of those learning apps and play around with it. Maybe when you're waiting for your train on the way to work, maybe at the airport, or maybe when nature calls. <laughs> but especially when you meet someone and you can talk to them in person. Now, I already said this before, but don't be afraid to make any mistakes. At first, you will make them, it's completely natural, but you will see that you will learn in no time if you keep at it. And you will also see that people are usually very supportive 
when you're trying to learn a new language. So don't be discouraged, just keep at it. Guys, as you know by now, I love speaking different languages and it is a fantastic way to expand your comfort zone and to put yourself out there to meet new people. I'm hoping that this little video helps you in your language learning journey, but should you think this was too basic and you would like to learn something more intricate, then I highly recommend watching Nathaniel Drew's Solar System Theory. It's a fantastically well shot video with incredibly interesting insights. So go check it out and you can find the link, of course, in the description below. Well, that's it from me, guys. I wish you a fantastic day, a lot of fun while learning a new language. And as always, don't be afraid to leave your bubble.